This is the Music History Today podcast for September 4th. On today's show, American Idol crowns a winner, the dream gets married, and a Motown group forms. First up, though, on this date in 1936, entertainers Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers' movie Swing Time premiered in movie theaters. In 1951, Frank Sinatra played in Las Vegas for the first time, eight years before the Rat Pack era. In 1952, Gladys Knight and her cousins formed the group Gladys Knight and the Pips. In 1958, Jerry Butler and the Impressions performed on national television for the first time when they performed on American Bandstand. In 1964, The Animals performed in America for the first time. In 1965, The Who had their van, along with their equipment that was in it, stolen. In 1968, the Beatles played in front of an audience for the first time in two years in order to record videos for their songs Hey Jude and Revolution. In 1969, the Young Bloods walked out of an appearance on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson after the show cut one of their two songs. In 1971, the big man, saxophonist Clarence Clemens, played with Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band live for the first time. In 1986, Greg Allman was arrested for drunk driving in Florida. In 1989, singer Laura Donna Berti married tennis superstar Bjorn Borg. In 1992, Harry Nilsson played his last performance. In 1996, singer and actress Lorna Luft married musician Colin Freeman. In 2002, the winner of the first American Idol was crowned when Kelly Clarkson beat out Justin Guarini. In 2004, rapper Juvenile married his wife, Shadonna Jones. In 2005, the Johnny Cash biopic Walk the Line opened in movie theaters. In 2008, the group 2PM was formed. In 2009, The Dream married singer and actress Christina Milian. They separated three months later. And in 2023, Diana Ross made a surprise guest appearance at Beyonce's show in Los Angeles to perform Ross's hit song, Love Hangover, and to also sing Happy Birthday to Beyonce. In theater in 1948, the musical Angel in the Wings closed on Broadway. In 1977, the revival of the musical Godspell closed on Broadway. And in 1983, the musical Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat closed on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on September 4th, in 1996, Alanis Morissette and the Smashing Pumpkins were the big winners at the MTV Video Music Awards. And in 1997, Jamiroquai, Beck, and Jewel were among the big winners at the MTV Video Music Awards. Albums that were released in the UK on September 4th include in 1995 when Jethro Tull released Roots to Branches. Meanwhile in America in 1970, the Rolling Stones released Get Your Yaya's Out. In 1973, Queen released their self-titled album and Gil Scott Heron and Brian Jackson released Winter in America. In 1979, Trooper released Flying Colors. In 1981, Bob Seger and the Silver Bullet Band released Nine Tonight. George Strait released Straight Country. And Meatloaf released Dead Ringer. In 1982, The Who released It's Hard. In 1984, Donna Summer released Cats Without Claws. In 1989, Love and Rockets released their self-titled album. In 1990, Rush released Chronicles, Soul Asylum released and the horse they rode in on. The Rembrandts released their self-titled album and Dan Fogelberg released The Wild Places. In 1992, Sugar released Copper Blue. In 2000, Powderfinger released Odyssey No. 5. In 2001, April Wine released Back to the Mansion. The Apples in Stereo released Sound Effects. And System of a Down released Toxicity. In 2012, Melissa Etheridge released 4th Street Feeling. Korn released The Path of Totality Tour live at the Hollywood Palladium. Matchbox 20 released North. Stars released The North, not to be confused with Matchbox 20's North, and Imagine Dragons released their debut album, Night Visions. And in 2015, Iron Maiden released The Book of Souls. Singles that were released 
in the UK on September 4th include in 1964 when Roy Orbison released Oh Pretty Woman and the Moody Blues released Steal Your Heart Away. In 1970, Dusty Springfield released How Can I Be Sure? And in 1982, The Who released Athena. Meanwhile, in America, in 1976, ABBA released Fernando and Rick Dees and his cast of idiots released the novelty song Disco Duck. In 1977, Donna Summer released I Remember Yesterday. In 1979, J.D. Souther released You're Only Lonely. And in 2007, Matchbox 20 released How Far We've Come. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on September 4th include Beyonce, producer Mark Ronson, DJ producer Alexander Coe, singer James Bay, songwriter and producer Pooh Bear, singer Danny Warsnop of We Are Harlot, country music singer Granger Smith, singer Max Kenward, composer Anton Bruckner, composer Darius Milhoud, singer and actress Mitzi Gaynor, Gene Parsons of The Birds, Bubba Knight of Gladys Knight and the Pips, Martin Chambers of The Pretenders, Dan Miller of O-Town, Kim Thale of Soundgarden, singer Mackenzie Soul, rapper Mark Tuon, Sonny Charles of Sonny Charles and the Checkmates Limited, Greg Elmore and Gary Duncan, both of the group Quicksilver, both on the exact same day, coincidentally, 1946 to be precise, Blackie Lawless of Wasp, Carmit Bakker of the Pussycat Dolls, singer Nona Gay, Igor Cavalera of Sepultura, guitarist Danny Gatton, singer Daryl Cotton, Alice DeBure of Fanny, Ty Longley of Great White, pianist Mikkel Sardaby, bassist Ronald Lapred of the group The Commodores, guitarist Borelli Legren, bassist Gudo Price of Super Furry Animals, singer Richard Wingo of Jagged Edge, steel guitarist Dan Del Santo, band leader Jan Savit, band leader Sam Lanen, and pianist Mead Lux Lewis. Artists who unfortunately passed away on September 4th include organist Jonathan Blewett, who passed away in 1853 at the age of 71. Composer Hermann Zump passed away in 1903 at the age of 53. Composer extraordinaire Mr. Edward Grieg passed away in 1907 at the age of 64. Composer Giovanni Salviucci passed away in 1939 at the age of 29. Saxophonist Charlie Barnett passed away in 1991 at the age of 77. Country music singer Dottie West passed away in a car accident in 1991 at the age of 58. Blues harmonica player Louis Myers passed away in 1994 at the age of 64. Composer and conductor of the Kosick Opera from 1966 to 1981, Ladislav Holyobek passed away in 1994 at the age of 81. Chuck Greenberg of the group Shadow Facts passed away in 1995 at the age of 45. Singer Bell Stewart passed away in 1997 at the age of 91. Composer Clement Slavitsky passed away in 1999 at the age of 88. Guitarist David Brown of the group Santana passed away from liver and kidney failure in 2000 at the age of 53. Violinist and orchestra leader Tibor Varga passed away in 2003 at the age of 82. Violinist Lola Babesco passed away in 2003 at the age of 82. Opera singer with the Metropolitan Opera from 1941 to 1956, Astrid Varney passed away in 2006 at the age of 88. 
Composer Ian Perot passed away in 2012 at the age of 96. Rapper Lil Jojo was shot and killed in 2012 at the age of 18. Gustavo Cerati of the group Soda Stereo passed away in 2014 at the age of 55. Rico Rodriguez of the group The Specials passed away in 2015 at the age of 80. The jazz bassist for the Keith Jarrett Trio, Gary Peacock, passed away in 2020 at the age of 85. Country music singer Lucille Starr passed away in 2020 at the age of 82. John Till of the Full Tilt Boogie Band passed away in 2022 at the age of 76. Gary Wright of Spooky Tooth and also of solo fame with the songs Dreamweaver and My Love is Alive passed away in 2023 at the age of 80. And singer Steve Harwell of the group Smash Mouth passed away from liver failure in 2023 at the age of 56. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is September 5th when in 1946, Freddie Mercury was born. (laughs) 